Hello and welcome to The Sting. I'm your host, Christian Prente, and I'm here with... Brain Darby, and we're going to be your host for this season of The Sting. It's more like an entertainment show this time around, but there'll still be some news elements in it. Yeah, we're uh, really excited to bring you this year's edition of The Sting, and uh, we're going to have some new segments this year. We're pretty excited to bring them to you. first one will be uh, Histories with Steven, where Steven Rocco will be bringing you... Uh, an event that occurred in the past is pretty interesting that you might not have known about before. So uh, let's go ahead and see it. Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Rocco and today we're going to be talking about history. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Knights of St. John, because why not? Knights of St. John, they were first created whenever the first taking of Jerusalem by the Christians. They were originally just an organization to help out pilgrims move to Jerusalem whenever they were going on their pilgrimage. But after the Caliphate conquered Jerusalem again, they moved to the island of Rhodes off the coast of Greece. And they stayed there for quite some time. But then they got massively slaughtered by the Ottomans and then migrated all the way to Malta, which is under Sicily, Sicily kind of. Well, yeah, it's under that, it's under that area. Un under there, yeah, right there, right there. Okay, they never recovered from this, never at all. They were just, they're kind of garbage back then. But then, then, around in the Napoleonic era, they were just disbanded and never heard from again, and they cease to exist today. Stay tuned for the next episode, kids. It's gonna get real crazy. Indeed, it will get a little bit crazy. Hopefully, the next episode is just as fun as that one. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. Thanks, Stephen. I never knew much about the Knights of St. John, and uh, now I do. Uh, next segment will be about Students getting to pie their teachers and administrators in the face for a fundraising event. So, uh, Sean Grayson has a scoop on that. Recently, Fairview High School threw a fundraiser for HOSA. What is HOSA, you might ask? HOSA stands for Health Occupation Students of America. These, this program is for students who plan to uh, apply in the medical field. Usually at Fairview High School, fundraisers uh, usually tend to just be selling uh, cheesecakes or cookies to people who are interested in it. However, this time they took a different approach. Students would pay $5 and pick a teacher off of a list to then pie in the face. Everyone had fun and enjoyed themselves, especially the teachers. Thanks, Sean. Uh, it seems like a fun event. Unfortunately, I was unable to go to that. Maybe next year. We'll see. Maybe next year. Uh, next up will be a, another new segment by Braden Darby. Uh, he'll be giving us a review of a movie, and uh, that movie this week is Shazam. So uh, let's go ahead and see what he thought. Hi. I'm your host, Brain Darby, and welcome to our new segment, Movie Review. So, this week we have Shazam as our opening episode. Shazam's a DC film about Shazam and Billy Batson learning how to be a superhero. Astro Angel does a great job as Billy Batson. Zachary Levi does an amazing job as Shazam. Uh, like Tony Stark and Robert Downey Jr., he's been made for the role. The villain, Dr. Savannah, played by Mark Strong, he's also a great choice. Mark Strong's a great actor, and he really performs in this movie. The movie itself is extremely well made, uh, especially coming from director who made a short film called Lights Out, which was a horror movie, as well as Annabelle Creation. Kind of like how Aquaman was made by James Wan, who made the Saw franchise. Uh, side characters are great as well. The Foster family, Freddy, and all of them are great. Personally, I give it 9.7 out of 10. It's a great DC film. Definitely should watch it if you haven't already. Thank you for turning in. Sounded pretty good. It was pretty good. Definitely, definitely check it out if you haven't already. It's been out for a little over a month now, I believe. Yeah. So uh, 
That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to tune in next week as well. Uh, we'll be releasing episodes once every Friday morning. And uh, we're so excited that you got to tune in this week. And uh, that's all I have for you today. And uh, thanks for tuning in. See you. <laughs>